If you're like me, you probably take a lot of photos on your phone and sometimes that it gets filled up and your phone gets a little bit slow. And so normally what I do is I just plug in my uh, USB uh, to my computer and then I just transfer the photos and I back up my photos on my computer just going into the camera folder. But this process takes a lot of time and over the years I've collected a lot of photos and so currently I have um, over 150 gigabytes of photos and they can't all fit on my phone so I put them onto the computer. Now you may be saying why not just use some online storage but usually online storage can cost uh, per, quite a bit per month. And when I was in China I went on a little trip to the Three Kingdoms my kids went on a little raft and one of my kids dropped their phone into the water and then they lost all the photos and I wasn't able to get the photos back. So wouldn't it be great if when you just took a random photo or any kind of photo, it would automatically back up to your computer back home and that way we wouldn't have to worry if something happened, um, if your phone got lost or things like that. So you can actually do that by downloading this app called Sync Fork and what it does is it just clones all the photos on your phone to your computer and it automatically syncs. You can see I, I synced it's 100%. So here's on my computer and I can actually access the folder that it's a backup of all the photos on my phone and I can open up and it's the same photo there. And I have, it syncs quite fast and I have uh, backed up all my photos and um, to back up, you kind of want to make uh, a NAS system and so I bought this mini PC for about 200 bucks. You can buy them pretty cheap on Amazon. And it has Ethernet and uh, uh, HDMI. And you can see in here, it also has two terabytes of storage. And so that's quite good. And then I downloaded the app uh, Sync Thing and Jellyfin as well. And these are the programs that can sync your photos and also view them. So the very first app is Sync Thing, then Jellyfin, and then Tailscale. These are basically the three apps that you want. Sync Think, it just basically clones your photos to your computer. Jellyfin is like a media server, so you can view your photos and also collects the uh, metadata for if you have photos or videos. So if I I also have a, uploaded some videos here, for example, and it gives you the little... Now he's someone else for a while! Hey, are you okay over there? And it plays quite good. There's no leg at all. And this is just going on the other network. So that's the uh, Jellyfin. And then uh, Tailscale is basically a, a, a VPN, so if you are outside your home, you can connect. So you can just get a, a little uh, mini computer and then you can install these three apps on your computer and on your phone and sync them up and then you have your own little media server and it's uh, a lot cheaper than online storage. I was thinking about using a NAS system but in this way, you can also use the computer for other things that uh, um, a, a normal NAS wouldn't work. In the description, I'll leave a link to these three programs where you can download them. And uh, then you can get your own little media server working and back up your photos. Have a good day. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, you can subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.